Hey everyone, this is Prince Watercrest, and welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man 8 for Sony PlayStation 1. We are nearing the end of this game. We just have two more stages in Dr. Wily's Fortress to go, and we are going to take them on right now. Thankfully, once you get past the first stage of... Dr. Wily's Fortress. The rest of Dr. Wily's Fortress isn't that bad. Which is surprising, honestly. Ready. So let's go ahead and make our way through this area here. We do need to be careful in a few parts. I will mention what those parts are. And I managed to hit that guy before he could land on the ground. So therefore, that Sniper Joe is as good as gone as soon as he showed up. Alright. Drop another one here. And... Go ahead and... Do this. Good thing I had pretended knock back, otherwise I would have been knocked back over there. And from here, we can ride this over to the ladder. Okay, so far so good. Now I actually want to not have the the uh, Mega Buster charged here, and I want to jump to this thing and wait here. Shoot this guy down after he drops after he throws the boulder onto the thing here. You want him to throw the boulder onto the spikes, otherwise you're not going to make it. And from here, we want to hold up when we jump towards the ladder here, so that way, we can climb on it as soon as we reach it. Now it's time for this part. We are facing base. Mega Man! You can't escape this time! Base! Stop it! I don't want to fight with you! You're so naive! That will be your downfall. I'm not the same weakling anymore. I've got new powers. No way! And it's the evil energy that Dr. Wily got at the beginning of the game. No! You don't know how dangerous it is! Shut up! I'll defeat you! Come on, Treble. And I'd rather base say the last line. So yeah, this armor again. Let's do it! I'll show you what true power is! No! That's not power! I must prove you are wrong again, Bass! Almost at Basser for a second. But I want to have Astro Crush equipped. So when he does this, I'm invincible, and I can still hit him. He will also shoot shots down on the ground like that. And if he goes higher than usual, he'll do that laser. Otherwise, if he stands right here and shoots upwards, use Astro Crush, you should be fine. Flining is the best way to get away from that laser. And for best results, use this as well as the charge laser. Ow. Well, he's going down now. He only got one set of those shots in. You can't beat me with fake power. Oh. You can't beat me with fake power. Wake up, base. Curse you, Mega Man. I'll never give up. Base. Why you don't understand? I've known about that typo for the longest time. But now it's time to go this way. And sadly, you never see him in 9, 10, or 11. Base. Which is a shame. I would have loved to have fought him in those games. Speaking of which, I may play those games if I find a way to do so. 
but anyway. Get out of here, you. And... Let's go ahead and use a Mega Ball to leap up to that ladder. Thankfully, I was holding up. And I now have an unheard of eight lives for this game. And here, this place is nasty if you are not ready for that flying spike ball. Thankfully, I was with the ability to eliminate knockback. It is possible to beat that section without it, but that one ability makes it so much easier. And I'm going to equip Thunderclaw because that's what we need for this boss. Meet the Slime Devil. We need to pierce the thing with the laser and then hit the eye with the Thunderclaw. We can get up the three shots. Now, the Slime Devil, once it breaks apart and goes into the vents in the floor, have a couple of attacks. You want to slide away from where the eye emits an electrical shock there because that's where the spikes are going to be, where the slime turns into spikes and try to hit you from underneath. There is another attack. Hopefully I will be able to show it off. Oh, I managed to get a fourth hit, but I didn't think I was fast enough to do that. Where's another attack? Yeah, if, it, if the eye shows up at the very side of the screen, you want to slide away from the wave attack. That's the only way to outrun this. You'll have to outrun this a couple of times. And here... We get to hit this thing one more time. So, eight shots with the Thunderclaw on the eye to defeat the Slime Devil. And it's on to the fourth and final stage of Dr. Wily's Fortress. Which I'm going to make look dead easy. I don't even know why I'm saving. It's not like I need to. I don't need to. And I'm just going straight to Dr. Wily's fourth stage, where we're going to have the Robot Masters once again. Yes, there's a Robot Master rush, and there is Dr. Wily himself. Thankfully, the Robot Master teleporters are the easiest to memorize in the entire series. We're standing in the center. The left side is the first half of the game. The second, the, the right side is the second half of the game. And if you have the stage select screen memorized for both halves of the game, you know where everyone is. So, upper left, Tengu. Upper right, Frost. Bo bottom left, J Clown Man. I almost called him Joker there for a second. I had to think about it. Bottom right, Grenade. And we're going to use the Flash Bomb on... Frostman here. Just to show off how easy it is to beat him with it. Now if he has his hands up like that, you can easily knock him back with the flash bomb. Or, if you hit him long enough, he'll cower in fear just like that and say it hurts. Easy to beat with the Mega Buster, even easier to beat with the flash bomb. Anyway, we beat Frostman, so now it's time for Tengu. That rem that I just now realize I have to go in a revert. Kid, you're almost not worth or the effort. I just now realize I have to go in a C pattern to get through the first four. Didn't think I would get hit there, but I did.
unfortunately. There we go. Now I can finally hit him. He takes a lot of damage from the Mega Buster, I see. Also, there's a W on the center of the platform. Nice touch. Alright, Tornado Hold. We got that equipped. Let's go on and face Clown Man. Matter of fact, the W is on the center of all the rooms. Except Frostman's. That reminds me, I need to use that first so that way I can get him. There we go. He's making it really easy for me to anticipate his moves here. This is all he's doing. I'm getting a really good pattern here. Also, you don't have a lot of time to pick up the energy pickups that every robot matcher leaves behind, so if you need it, you better get it quick. Anyway, Thunderclaw. Let's go ahead and use that. We're facing Grenade Man. I keep knocking it away rather than towards him. I am not having the best of luck. And got him on the rebound there. Excellent. The good thing I have Super Recover. I can be full health or nearly full health on every boss. So now we're going to face Swordman, and this time we'll use the Water Balloon. We'll finally have that in action for the one time we need it in the game. I won't hold back. Let's see if he does that one attack. He did. That one attack where he shoots out a column of energy around him. If you can shoot the Water Balloon through it and if you hit him while he's doing that attack he will overheat you still can't hit him with the water balloon during the fire slash attack though and now that we've got sword man out of the way it's time for search man Alright. Time to go ahead and smack you around. I'm getting some really good patterns here. Wow. Search. Astro Man. Now, how will he come down at the beginning of the battle? Oh, he's going to teleport. But it is possible to shoot. There we go. Had he dived all the way down, it would have been an even better pattern. And had I let him keep teleporting, he would have used Astro Crush on me. Thankfully, you can avoid Astro Crush. Just watch the sky stay out of the way of the projectiles. Seems a little easier said than done, but it is doable. Right. Aquaman. Hmm. Best time to use water, use Aqua or Astro Crush, is when you know that the water balloon is or water cannon is going to hit you. Fire, 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 
And I'll just finish them off like this. And just like that, we can now take the elevator here, which is now flashing, to Dr. Wily. I made getting through that look like the easiest thing in the world. And once we go through here, it's time for Endgame. Where's this? You're in Dr. Wily's fortress, Mega Man. It shouldn't be much of a shock to you. <laughs> You're trapped, Mega Man. You can't move, can you? With this incredible energy, I can't be beaten. It's time I finally finished you off. Goodbye, Mega Man. D Duo! Duo, thank you. Are you okay? Yeah. Look out. Curse you! It seems that robot can't move anymore. <laughs> now I'll defeat both of you! I'll take care of this robot. Proto Man, thanks! Wily! You must be stopped! Silence, fool! I'll defeat you and conquer the world! <laughs> and now it's time for the battle with Dr. Wily. You obviously want to shoot at where Dr. Wily's face is. You want to avoid the saw, whether it sh comes towards you or bounces towards you. And when that laser cannon where the skull's face opens, you want to shoot a flash bomb so that way you can not only do damage to Wily, but you can also stop the laser cannon dead in its tracks. It is possible to leap over the huge laser that this cannon creates with the tornado hold. But the flash bomb helps you stay in the game and stay there a lot faster. And now it's time for Wily's second form. I'm going to equip the Flame Sword, although it is the hardest thing to hit Wily with because it does the most damage. Now sometimes you can jump over the fireball, sometimes you can't. And I'm going to forego hitting Dr. Wily here so I can get some energy. Thankfully, I was able to refill there. Hit him, please. Need to jump over those, but couldn't do that because it was sliding, unfortunately. In case you can't hit him with the Flame Sword, go ahead and use Mega Buster. Ow. Ow. I may have to use the Mega Buster here a little bit, or not. And these home in on you. Sometimes you can avoid them, sometimes you can't. It just depends on how lucky you are, I guess. Just where you're located and whatnot. Those are easy as long as you're not sliding. These might hit me. Yeah, it did. Ow. I may have to do this over. Even with everything I've done. Yeah, I'm going to have to do this over, but eh, this is doable. I think I get all my stuff uh, refilled too. I think. 
I do. The game is really generous in that regard. Anyway, I'll see you back at the uh, second second phase of the boss battle. Be right back. On second thought, maybe not. I should probably talk about some other boss strategies. Sometimes a little thing that turns into a saw, it bounces like that. And you can also shoot fireballs. There are also the purple fireballs that can be shot up in the air. You want to jump over the fireballs after that purple fireball splits in two. I just realized I forgot to talk about th those attacks. Well, I didn't, rem didn't forget this time. Now it's time for the second boss battle. Now, let's not be as reliant on the flame sword this time around. Nice. Ow. Yeah, if he's up there, I'm hitting him with the uh, hitting him with the charged up laser. Otherwise, he's getting the flame sword. Because trying to hit him up there with Flame Sword was a huge mistake, honestly. There we go. I may have, I may still have to use Rush Health. Oh, he was down, or he was down there. Ow. If it, my health gets a little bit lower there, I may have to. Okay, you know what? Let's go ahead and use that. Again. Let's go ahead and get our energy back. Because why not? Let's go ahead and hit him from over there. Because I don't think I'm going to get him in time. I thought maybe I'd be able to jump over that, but unfortunately I couldn't. But we got Wily on the ropes now. We should definitely be able to do this. And one more hit, ought to do it. There we go, we just beat Mega Man 8. Which isn't as impressive to myself because I've done it so many times. S sorry I was wrong! Please forgive me. Just stop, Wily. That's the same old apology, Wily. Over and over again. Wh what? What? Not sure if you can tell, but if you were to take a screen cap of this, you'll notice that this huge f ball of evil energy looks like a skull. Just putting that out there. Anyway, time for the ending cutscene, which I've seen a zillion times. This is not good. He's been affected by the evil energy. He will die soon. If your mind is
is not completely taken by the evil, you'll be saved. Mega Man, I can see into your mind. been working so hard for justice. With your help, this planet will survive. What happened, Mega Man? He's going to be okay. He will regain consciousness soon. My job is done. I must go. I'll leave Mega Man up to you. But there's one more thing. Mm -hmm. I have a favor to ask. Duel is gone. Proto Man! Mega Man, I have a message to give you from Duo. From Duo? What is it? He said, thank you. Duo? Me too. Duo. And just like that, the credits roll. You get the Dr. Wily prize first, which is all of the Robot Masters mentioned, as well as some concept art for the characters. So, let's see here. I believe there was a Robot Master contest for this game. Ah, uh, yes, just like in past games, the Robot Masters were picked from Design Constance in Japan, and they received 110,000 idea submissions, and you get to see a few of them right here, as well as some concept art for the ones that they liked. Also, Tengu Man and Astro Man had been made by Capcom prior to, Com prior to the game being well, blah. Tengu Man and Astro Man had already been designed by Capcom prior to the contest, according to Wikipedia. And whatever else it cites, which is Udon. Mega Man Official Complete Works. So, this music, pretty good. The music of this game is really, really good. If you put the PS1 disc in a CD player and play track 2, you'll get this, which is really nice. Sadly, you can't get everything else. 
this is not a bad game. Graphics are really good. They definitely remind me of CPS2 arcade games. Even in the PlayStation and Saturn and the N64 era, Capcom can seemingly do no wrong. They were still putting out some great games. Up to a certain point, I think. And it was definitely nice to see some arcade perfect or close to arcade perfect ports on the Saturn. PlayStation, not so much. This is one of the better games to show up on the PlayStation. But it's not an arcade port or anything, so it probably has that going for it. Anyway, yeah, graphics, pretty nice. They hold up rather well. Sound and music I really liked. Voice acting is a bit on the cheesy side, especially with Dr. Light. Especially what Mega Man. But other than that, it's a strong point. I should also mention that the stage select theme is a remix of the first intro stages music. You can kind of tell by the bass pattern. That dun 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 dun, dun pattern in the stage select theme. Might as well do that before I forget. Uh, control, I didn't have much of a problem with it. I do like the fact that you can still use the Mega Buster even after you have a weapon equipped. Sadly, the other games don't seem to do this. I wish they did. Um, what else? Other than that, not much of a problem. And I got a lot of replay ga value out of this one. Is this is still a doable sequel, even if some of the concepts are stretching a bit thin. It's still better than Mega Man 6. 6 still, still feels like the black sheep of the series, but this is still a good game nonetheless. Definitely worth getting for a PS1, as well as this re-releases should you find any of them except Mega Man Anniversary Collection they sped up the voices for the bosses on the second half of the game on Mega Man Anniversary Collection at least on PS2 not sure if they did that on the other versions on Xbox and GameCube but um yeah I know they did that on PS2 and because of that I'd rather not play Mega Man 8 on PS2 Mega Man Anniversary Collection and after you get a thank you screen, you get this Sprite of the Capcom logo, you get the FMV opening, and you get to play this game all over again if you wish. Even though you practically played it for three hours at this point. Um, really not much else I can say about this. I've beaten the first eight games. As I said earlier, I will play 9, 10, and 11 whenever I find a way to do such. 11 is probably the easiest to get my hands on because I can just download it. 9 and 10, I don't really know how it was released. I want to think they're on Steam. I've never really looked into it. And I know they have console ports. I know 9 and 10 were on PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, and the Wii. But if I can download it on Steam, which I'm pretty sure I could, I'll do it. I'll do 9 and 10. But those probably won't be for a while, even if I'm able to, because I want to do other games. And that's really all I can say. Pick this up if you can. Not the best Mega Man game. It is very serviceable. Even if the story is... I wouldn't say it's weak, but at least there's some effort there. Oh, and I forgot. I wish Duo appeared in other games. Other than this and Mega Man 2, the power battle, which I erroneously called Mega Man 2, the power fighters. No, the first arcade game was called the power fighters. The second game was called power battle. I always get those two confused for some reason, but I do. And I'm just going to keep it on the continue screen so that way I don't have to show the demo or anything else again. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all I can say about this one. Again, get this game if you can. 
not the best Mega Man game. The plot does have a little bit going on with the evil energy and duo. Not much else. Robot matches are okay. I was able to play through it because, well, I'm so used to it at this point. And, yeah, it's a very serviceable Mega Man game for the era and possibly throughout the series. So, it's not terrible. Go ahead and get it if you can. But that has been Let's Play Mega Man 8 for the Sony PlayStation 1. Hopefully, you enjoyed this as much as I did. And despite some of the more frustrating things in trying to get all 40 bolts for the very first time, I never did get all 40 when I was a kid. And I definitely didn't, did not do it until now. Nevertheless, I hope you did enjoy this. Hopefully, I'll be back with another game. Maybe it'll be good. Maybe it'll be bad. Maybe it'll be somewhere in between. Who knows? Until then, this is Prince Watercress. Take care. Stay safe. Thanks for watching, and see you guys later.